Hi, Tom Richardson for New England Boating, and I'm here at Kingman Yacht Center in Red Brook Harbor, tucked away in Upper Buzzards Bay. I'm with Ken and Dora Oteriano, and we're about to hop in their 300 Grady Marlin, head out and show you a little bit about this area, this part of Buzzards Bay. There's a lot to see and do, as you're about to find out. Let's go. You guys are longtime Grady owners, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what do you like about this model right here? The best thing I like about this model is it's big enough that it, it's big enough to take the seas of Buzzards Bay coming back after noon. So it's big enough to keep the to keep the passengers relatively comfortable, but it's it's also small enough that the two of us can handle it. Mm -hmm. I can handle it myself if I really have to. One of the really fun things to do in Buzzards Bay is go sea bass fishing, especially in June. Uh, right now the sea bass are really thick down there. In fact, you don't even need natural bait to catch them. Sea biscuit. We're gonna see if we can get one right now. Didn't take long to catch a sea biscuit. <laughs> do you have one on? Not a big one, but a good size. <laughs> hey, that's, that, that, that's illegal. So we're just using like a little two ounce Spro bucktail jig. And uh, we don't have uh, we don't have fresh squid today on board, but Ken was clever enough to have these fish bites, artificial stuff, and they seem to be working just great. In fact, the sea bass are so <laughs> thick down there, I don't I don't even think you need me. Oh, that's nice. yeah, pretty. There you go. Whoa. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Okay, Ken. So we've got our fishing under out of the way, uh, and now we're about to start our, our little tour of Red Brook Harbor. We're here in uh, right in front of uh, Wings Neck Light, right? Correct. And that's yep. that marks the western entrance to the Cape Cod Canal. That is correct. Yep. <laughs> and so Red Brook Harbor is uh, between Scraggy Neck and Wings Neck. Right. And uh, it's real. It's a convenient stopover for people that are going through the canal, right? I mean, isn't right. that a, yep. a, a good good anchorage or a good spot to stop? Yep. There's a north channel and a south channel, depending on uh, what type of boat you have and how much draft you have to go around Bassett's if you want. There's a nice sheltered area on the other side of Bassett's Island. Yeah, Bassett's Island is, is the, the barrier island that uh, sort of sits in the center of uh, Red Brook, right? Yeah. A yeah. lot of people, when they're coming down from the north, will get through the canal, depending on which way they'll, they'll time their trip to get the current from the canal going the proper way that they want, and then they'll make it through the canal, and if they're going to Nantucket or going to New York, uh, Montauk or going to Block Island, they'll duck in, spend the night at uh, the other side of Bassett's, and then they'll continue the journey the next day. It's a convenient stop-off spot from someone heading from the north down to the south. So here's uh, here's Bassett's, right, Ken? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, we're right at that uh, buoy right now, right? So tell us, uh, where, what, your, what are your choices right here? Your choices are you can go to the south channel or the north channel, we typically will use the channel to the right here, this channel right here. But it's a little deeper. It's a, we feel it's a little quicker to get in. It's a little more protected. Wings neck protects you from the wind a little bit. There's a sandbar that you can see reaches out here. We'll, we'll, as long as you go around the sandbar, it's a more direct route. The, the nice thing about the sandbar is if you go on to Bassett's Island, it gets to be two or three or four feet of water, and if you've got little kids, they can come out, they can, they can walk, they can swim, they can just have a ball and you can walk out uh, maybe 100, 200 yards. In, it looks like you're into the channel, but you're really only in two feet. Over to our right as we're coming in, this is Hospital Cove. It's a nice uh, secluded, quiet spot. You can go in there and get out of the wind, depending on... The nice part about down here is the prevailing wind in Buzzards Bay is a southwest wind. So when you're on this side of Bassett's Island at Hospital Cove where we are, you it shields you from the wind. So Ken, we're on the back side of, of Bassett's right now, and uh, it's just a beautiful white sand beach. Is it, it's, it's all public? Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. it's all public. It's um, There's no lifeguards, but it's all public. It's all nice sand. It, it, the nice thing about it is it gets deep very slowly. So Dory, tell, tell us a little about the shell fishing around here, huh? Well, it's, um, it's great for cohogging and for digging steamers. On uh, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, you can go cohogging. As a matter of fact, yesterday, um, Ken took the jet ski out and cohogged right over there. Oh, right over there. Right, yeah. right over there. Yeah. And then steamers are just on Saturdays. And where do you get the steamers? Come on, give us the scoop. The steamers, um, you also in the same places you get the cohogs, but they're, they're, you dig them on, on the, the sand. You know, okay. you see the little... Yeah, oh, the little, yeah, yeah, the little steamer. The little necks. Okay. For the cohogs, you have to wade in and have the um, the right rake and the bucket. You got to know your stuff. You got to know your clams. That's right. <laughs> 
So we're in Procasset Harbor right now, is that right, Ken? That is correct, Procasset mm -hmm. Harbor. Yeah, tell us about this ramp behind us. It's a great ramp, and what you can do is you can launch your boat at the ramp, drive your boat over to the, to the brand new pier that the town provided mm -hmm. for us, and then you can park your car, figure out where your, your car and your trailer can go, and you can hop in and you can go right into Buzz's Bay. In terms of marinas, visiting boaters have two choices. On the right as we come down the fairway is Parker's Boat Yard. It's a full service marina. They've got docks and they've got slips and uh, a lot of people stop at Parker's. On the left we have Kingman Marine, the Kingman Yacht Center, mm -hmm. also full service. They've got slips and moorings also another good spot to stop. And they've got the chart room restaurant. And, and they've got the chart room that you can walk to. Yeah. That's correct. So say you do want to bring your boat over here and, and go to the chart room. What, what's the procedure? Well, typically what you'll do is you'll call Channel 71 and they'll, you'll hail Kingman Yacht Center. Mm -hmm. You'll get them on the radio and you'll ask if you have a slip, if you want to go to the chart room, you tell them I'd like to come here for lunch. And they'll put you on the face, this is the face dock. Mm -hmm. They'll put you on the face dock. If the face dock is open, they'll put you on the gas dock if the face dock isn't open or they'll put you in the morning and there's a launch service. Yeah, so they'll, they'll find a home for you basically. They'll find a home for you. It's a great place to come. You have lunch, hang out, and then hop on your boat and you go back. It's a nice way to spend two or three or four hours in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Ken and Dora, for taking me out uh, on your lovely boat and showing me uh, Redbrook Harbor and all the, the great things to do and see here. We even caught some fish. How about we even that? We caught some fish. Yes, that's right. It's always a bonus. Anyways, uh, you can learn more about Redbrook Harbor and other New England boating destinations right here on NewEnglandBoating.com. I'm Tom Richardson. Thanks for watching.